here we go again. Flying Air Canada. Last time we flew Air Canada, <laughs> Air Canada to Scotland. They lost their luggage for two, maybe three days, two days. And now I'm boarding and I have the hiccups. Maybe it's Air Canada. Hello, my name is Alfredo and this is Off The Strip where I introduce you to places just minutes off the Las Vegas Strip or take you on one of my adventures. If this is your first time to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. More information is listed below. In this video, we're technically flying from Las Vegas to Cairo, but we have an eight hour layover in Paris. So we're gonna focus on the things that you can do during an eight hour layover in Paris. Probably 20, 25, maybe a little bit more minutes walk from where you get off the plane to the train station, but, um, the luggage uh, storage is right next to the train station. So when you make it to this area, this is where you go down for the trains. And then right before you go down, is the left luggage right here. So here's the pro tip. If there's more than one of you traveling, two or more, split up, have someone buy your train ticket and have someone stand in line and do the luggage and figure it out later. That way it saves you a lot of time. So we just got off the train. It took about 40 minutes from uh, the airport to the Notre Dame stop. So we made it to city center of Paris. Here we are, first stop, Notre Dame. So everything's still covered in scaffolding from a remodel, I guess maybe from the fire, I'm not sure. So, so everything's kind of covered, can't really get a good look of Notre Dame, but I know it's beautiful. I've been here, last time, last time I was here, it was right before the fire. So we've been in the city for about an hour now, walked around Notre Dame, now we're heading to the Louvre. So it's just a, a lot of walking. So we just had a great breakfast at that cafe. Now, again, we're continuing to walk to the Louvre. Oh, Paris in eight hours, a lot to do, a lot to see. We're in Paris. We're about to walk into the courtyard for the Louvre. Here we are. All right, see all these people in line? They're gonna take forever to get in. But just on the other side, it's like a back door that you all just can get into quite easily into the loop. It still spits you out down to the lobby down there. So we've just walked from the Louvre all the, through the Tuileries Gardens. I think that's what it's called. Now walking towards the Arc de Trail. It's a little warm, so we just took a bird bath in this little fountain right here. So it felt really good though. The Arc de Trail, just right behind, behind me. Okay, so we've done a lot in this short layover. We went to Notre Dame, the Louvre, um, Eiffel Tower, Champs Elysees, Tuileries to Gardens. So um, we're kind of heading back. It's kind of hot. And we still have to pick up our luggage and then check into our next flight to Cairo. So in a eight hour layover, really you're only getting five hours in the city because you have to travel um, here and back. So you can still do a lot if it's a layover. If you haven't already, please click that like button, subscribe, and that notification bell. Here comes the train that's taking us back to the airport. We finally completed our layover in Paris, getting on to 
our airplane to Cairo we switched from Air Canada to Egypt Air so first time on Egypt Air pretty excited El Fishawi is the oldest coffee shop in Egypt the OG Starbucks So here we are at our hotel just outside of the Jazz Bar they have a nice terrace right along the Egyptian Nile